Hi guys, my name is Dylan, and this is my 1992 Volkswagen Golf Cabriolet. So I bought this car back in March of 2017. Um, I was looking for a project car wasn't really sure uh, what I wanted, but uh, I wanted something a bit older, so not so much electronic to deal with. And uh, I came across this, uh, it was in Kitchener, so I went to pick it up. So this is a first generation Golf, uh, it's known as a Mark I or MK1, some people pronounce it that way. Mark 1s were produced from 1974 to 1983. However, the Cabriolet was only introduced in 1979 and went all the way to 1993. So that means that uh, there is no such thing as a Mark II Cabriolet. Uh, they essentially carried the Mark 1 Cabriolet uh, alongside the Mark II um, and then in 93, when the Mark III was introduced, uh, they redesigned the Cabriolet and uh, it became the Mark III Cabrio. So, I'm actually the seventh owner of this car and uh, it has roughly 300,000 kilometers on it. I say roughly because the uh, speedometer cable went at around 281 so the odometer reads 281 right now um, but since then i've put quite a bit of miles on it or kilometers on it so uh, i believe it's roughly around 300,000. as far as modifications go uh, i haven't done too much to it as you can see it is lowered uh, it's sitting on raceland multiple coilovers uh, they are maxed out so i can't go any lower uh, it's extremely stiff, very bouncy, but uh, I'm not going for uh, comfort or handling or anything like that. I want to make this a show car. Now, the main thing that I did to this car uh, is the interior. So, last winter, I bought a parts car. It was in 1986, and uh, the engine wasn't working. The previous owner wasn't sure why. Uh, but I didn't really care. I bought the car only for the interior and it turns out I also had a brand new top. My previous top had a few uh, rips here and there and it was leaking a bit in heavy rain. Uh, so I decided I have it so I might as well change it. So it is a new top. Uh, it's only about a year old I believe. So the previous interior in the car when I bought it, uh, it was white. So the knee bar under the dash was white. The center console around the shifter was white. The seats and the door cards were white. Uh, I didn't like the white and also they were extremely stained. Uh, the driver seat was torn beyond repair. So uh, I figured just a whole new interior would probably be the best thing. So I ended up taking the whole interior out of the first car, which was in great shape. Just had to clean it up a little bit. And uh, that's what's in the car right now. That's what you see right now. Um, so everything is black and gray. Uh, the knee bar is now black. The console is black. The door cards are black. Seats are black and gray. Um, there's a few small imperfections, but I can live with that. It's uh, 10 times better than what was in the car before. Then I also got new window cranks. I got chrome uh, door handles on the inside. Uh, from the parts car, I also took the chrome molding off the side. My previous ones were black. And I also took the chrome insert uh, that goes on the exterior door handle, threw that in. And I also put uh, the single headlight grill with the chrome surround. Uh, I am missing the two outside pieces. Um, I have them but the chrome is destroyed so I'm gonna have to get new chrome trim for that. Uh, when I previously bought the car it had the dual round 
grill that you can see sitting up on the shelf there. So I also painted the stock wheels black. Uh, these are stock 13 by five and a half, uh, seven spoke, and uh, they were previously white uh, to match the interior. And uh, I painted them black. So this is three coats of primer, three coats of paint, and two coats of clear. Um, these are fine for now, but uh, new wheels are definitely on the list at some point. Speaking of things on the to-do list, uh, the main thing that has to be done to the car pretty much now is uh, the engine. So let's talk about that. So the engine is a stock 1.8 liter naturally aspirated 8 valve. Uh, it's running uh, Digi2 management, so it's not the CIS like previous cars. So this is a 2H engine with a counterflow head which means the intake and the exhaust are both on the backside. Like I mentioned earlier the car has 300,000 uh, kilometers on it roughly and as far as I know it's never gone to rebuild or anything. So the main issue right now is the head gasket. So it burns quite a bit of oil and coolant seems to be disappearing as well. I've replaced already the alternator a couple of coolant hoses here and there that got leaks or holes in them. It's also a brand new coolant tank along with the coolant level sensor. Basically the plan for this winter is to uh, take the engine out and uh, see if it can be rebuilt. If it can be rebuilt, uh, that's what I'm going to be doing. So essentially changing all the bearings, all the gaskets and anything else that might uh, have to be changed. Basically when I'm done with the rebuild, I want it to run as close to what it did when it came from the factory. If it cannot be rebuilt, then I'm going to be looking at uh, some sort of swap. So either I try to source the same engine with less mileage and in better shape, or uh, there's tons of options out there for Mark 1 swaps, uh, VR6, TDI, 1.8 turbo, uh, 2.5 so the options are sort of endless 16 valve also I'm just gonna have to look at all the options and try to see what I want what's available as well and what makes most sense financially as well well that covers my plans for uh, this winter uh, but in terms of long term like I said earlier I want to make this into a show car so I'm not going for performance or comfort handling anything like that I want to make this a show car but still drivable two shows and also something i can drive on the weekends just around town and whatnot eventually i want to do a shaved engine bay so shaving an engine bay is essentially removing anything that isn't necessary what's most likely going to end up happening is uh, the coolant tank's going to go power steering is going to go ac is going to go heat is going to go and uh, you're essentially left with just an engine then you try to hide all the wires, have as little hoses uh, visible as possible. Most of the time people paint the inside of their engine bay and paint various parts of the engine. Uh, going with the shave bay, I like to uh, run individual throttle bodies or ITBs. So instead of having uh, your intake box or your cone filter or whatever you have, feeding into one throttle body, you essentially have one throttle body for each cylinder. As for the exterior, I mentioned earlier, wheels for sure at some point. Um, also, I would like to do a color change eventually. Uh, I don't mind this color, but it's not, I'm not crazy about it. So I would like to vinyl wrap it. Uh, I have a few different colors in mind but uh, I won't say too much. I would also like to try to get the car a little bit lower. I said earlier that the coilovers were maxed out, but you can actually buy or fabricate top mount risers. So that would give me uh, room to go essentially another two inch lower. That's gonna be it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, I know this wasn't uh, super interesting. There was no working on cars or anything. But uh, I wanted to make this video as an introduction to my car uh, before I go ahead and do anything else to it. Just so you guys can see what's already done to it and uh, just where it sits now. So once again, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.